What's up, y'all? This is Adri Said, and we are with IBGM's very own first lady, Dej Lowe. What's up? What's How good? are you, boo? How are you? I'm good. I'm shy. <laughs> she plays too much. Now, so, you just got off the stage. Mm-hmm. How was the crowd? How was the energy? It was, it was nice. I mean, it was a... It's a big venue, and it was like, you know, it wasn't, I didn't know, I didn't know how it was going to be, but it was nice. I mean, yeah. I just tried to rock with the crowd. Like, I like messing with the people. If you really rock with me, you're really a Dej Loaf supporter. I like to come shake hands and take pictures and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I'm you, big on that, because it's like, who'd you come to see, you know? Yeah, you very interactive with the crowd. They, they fucked with it. They liked yeah. it a lot. So, you just got done performing. You actually performed in Texas, or South by Southwest. Yeah. How was that? was my first time going there um I always saw it growing up like well you know I used to be like man it look fun and mm -hmm. just being there it was crazy he was doing shows like all day every day like it's really like a stage hop yeah. you know what I'm saying it was it's just it's dope though it's a dope place to go and just get your music heard and you know try to gain more yeah really. like I'm still a new artist so I'm still trying to bring everybody in you thought you thought your mission was successful Definitely, I think I did good out there. I was actually they told me I was one of the most talked about artists out there. You are. We was we was turned up. 2014 was a really really good year for you, like. It was. Yeah. So we just trying to make these these other years, you know, this year bigger, even bigger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even bigger. We was nominated for to be on the cover of the freshman cover of Double XL. Mm. Well, yeah. they your name was thrown out there. Yeah. Yeah. You excited? I hope you can get on it. I hope you get voted. I think you will though. Is he going? Mm. Like you, just like you said, you talked about a lot. So I think you definitely have yeah. a chance. Yeah, I mean, that was another one of my small goals. I wanted to do, like, when I, you know, like, I used to always watch it. Like, oh, I want to get on there. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, just like, it's possible to share. I can possibly yeah. make it, you know what I'm saying? So it's dope. Shout out to XXL. Yeah. So you just had a birthday. I did. Happy birthday. Related. Thank you. You just turned 20. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. 25. Damn. See, now I'm going to put my glasses on. Because <laughs> obviously I look old. No, you're 74. 20. No, I'm 100. Here you go. You said that in the interview I'm with Shuby. all the time. That's your staple? You're just going to say you're 100? Yeah. I'm 101. She stay 100. I'm, one, I'm 101. Why she get this 100? Yeah. <laughs> you play too much. Okay, but seriously. So down in South by Southwest, you were with Chance the Rapper. And y'all had like a little in, like exchange and whatnot. And so he looked like he was like feeling you. And so I was talking to Over today when I did his interview. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of male admirers. Really? Yes. And you know you do. They be going crazy. I don't know what yeah. it is. You got you they are. Just, I said today you was a juice goddess. Like you just got. What is that? A goddess. Like I you thought just, you, said a, you said a juice goddess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Juice. That you should make a song sweet. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Juice goddess. Okay. Make sure you shout out Adrian. Like I know. I was. Yeah. I got you. Juice goddess. Okay. Hey, what's up? This is Adri, and I am here with Mr. Over Roller of IBGM. What's up? What's up, what's up? How are you? Okay, so after Dave's Love took off, right. that's your label mate. Yeah. She took off. Like, Try Me just went crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy, crazy. But not, pe not many people know that you were actually supposed to go first. <laughs> That's like you were up first and then yeah. like you took a step back for your yeah. label mates so yeah. I have to commend you on that so how do you guys maintain such a great relationship that's my girl man like as long as we, if, if one person wins we all win yeah so, you know that's good though because I many people think like that nah a lot of people don't yeah. yeah especially like in the industry that you want to be in for sure. like, for like not like that at all so that's that and a lot of people don't like Females going first over the man. Right, yeah. right, right, okay. right. Man gotta lead up. Especially man. in such a male dominated yeah. industry. Like, yeah. So to see it this way is kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's dope. Oh. I like that. So who is Oba for others who do not know? Oba's just a man. Oba is the artist from Detroit. Artist from Detroit? He's a thug. He's a thug. Yeah, he don't play no games. Straight OG. Straight up. Yeah, I'm scared of Oba sometimes, for real. Scared <laughs> of Oba. But you know, he cool. I think y'all like him. You like Oba? Yeah, I like Oba. I've actually listened to your, what'd you call it, an album or a mixtape? Okay, mm -hmm. you call it EP. Okay. Yeah, I've listened to it a few times just to. Respect, I, respect. I like that. I like. I think my favorite song is Around. Ah, that's dope. Okay, so what's your favorite song? Around, now. Really? 
Oh, you change just like every week. <laughs> Around it, what you done? Okay. Yeah. yeah okay, I like it. What you it. done, I really like what you done. Okay, but in, um, I noticed, correct me if I'm wrong, but I noticed that DDS didn't really do uh, produce any songs. Yeah, before. he sent some beats. I did some stuff to DDS beats, uh -huh. but what it was, I was going for a certain feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm big on, like, uh, symmetry. Okay. Like, I'm big on that, like. Everything needs to like make sense and like, like a story yeah, type. and okay. flow together. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? So like even though I had some songs I really like in DDS, mm -hmm. it was like, man, I just like it just didn't match. You right. know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't really care about like trying to shoot a hit record. I care mm -hmm. about the vibe. Yeah, because you have I, a very melodic sound. Yeah. Like you sound like from the Midwest, like to me. <laughs> but you like it's in like a trap era. So it's like yeah. you got a little trap like bounce to that bit. like good vibe. Like, yeah. So you've been rapping for a little minute. Been yeah, for a while. A good little minute. Third grade. So is it because of a talent show, right? Because of a talent show. See, I did my research. Dang. <laughs> so I like, so you still getting girls? Because that was the whole point of you rapping, right? Yeah, that girls. that was the point. And then I got some girls, and it was like, girls are like crazy. Not you though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I can get crazy though. Hey, girls outside of this room. <laughs> I'm crazy. Crazy. Like, what's wrong with Crazy. Yes, yeah. Detroit. So, you know, I'm not really looking for a bunch of girls anymore. Right. Maybe you gonna like, be out of that now. Yeah. I'm gonna look for Maybe a girl or two. So, if you weren't rapping right now, what would you be doing? <clears throat> this, uh, PG-13? <laughs> no, go ahead. Say what okay. you want. We don't have to put it in. Say what you want. Go ahead. I'd be in school. I don't know what y'all was thinking about. I'd be in school. I'd be, uh, educating our youth. Yeah. All the uh, sports. Really? Because you play football, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I play football. I can tell you, what was your uh, linebacker? I played every day. Every day? Yeah. You were tall? A little bit. I haven't played it though. Quarterback. Well, then that's not everything. You're right. 